Okay. I'm giving everybody a tour of my garden. I thought I'd do a video this time just to kind of show you what everything's, how everything's doing. These are my fuchsias. They're just doing real well in low shade or low sunlight. <laughs> These are wildflowers that a friend gave me and I put them in a real shallow planters and they weren't doing real well and then I bought these planters and they just went crazy. This is what I call my miracle rose bush. I've killed this thing three times and it came back every time. These are the marigolds. And this is a lilac tree that somebody gave me. It grows up to eight feet tall in three years. This year it'll grow three feet and then it'll grow six feet. This should be the star of the garden. This is more wildflowers. These were bulbs given to me by a friend. They're doing very well towards the end of their cycle this is the planter box that I over planted which is why everything is brown but I've thinned it out and they're starting to come back these are the snowball bushes and the Japanese maple over there in the corner I had to trim this thing back it's coming back and this is the craziest grass I've ever seen. It's from my sister's. I don't remember the name of it, but it's, I thought it was cool. This is a transplanted rose bush. Hopefully it comes back. It's looking pretty peaked right now, but it looks all right. And that's the other garden. I haven't planted anything else in this one. But these are my corn. Stocks. That's an heirloom tomato bush there. And a pepper plant. And you can see the tomatoes coming, starting to ripen. This is beans. And there's some ca cucumbers back there. There's one right there. And back to the greenhouse. Some onions. That's where the cabbage was that we had the other day. Some lettuce. My compost pile. This is the greenhouse. There's another bean plant. Some squash I need to put out and some hollyhocks that are coming. These are the tomato plants. They're doing quite well. I may have to trim them back a little bit. And if you've ever put an avocado seed in the window seal and wanted it to root, this is what you get after <laughs> I think this is its second year. So don't plan on having avocados real soon if you do that. But it's a fun experiment. I planted some seeds that I found in there. I don't know what will come up, if anything. These are where I store my bulbs over the winter. Tulips in this one. I believe daffodils in that one, I'm not sure. This is my drying rack for my seeds. And that's about it. This is my neighbor's garden. And flag somebody gave me. Anyway, 
That's the garden. That's what I've been doing over the, this summer. Anyway, thanks. Oh, I'm, I'm, this is an experiment I'm doing. I found this topsy turvy type thing and I put a tomato plant in it. Doesn't look all that good, but it's starting to come back. Got a few tomatoes on there. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.